Rick and Morty season two, episode number three, ladies and gentlemen. We're here to next week's episode of Rick and Morty last week. Has Jerry been switched again? Is this the third Jerry that we are on to? If he was actually switched last week, we don't know for sure. Maybe it will come back, maybe it won't, but there is a chance we could technically be on to our third freaking Jerry, man, which is crazy to see. Morty damn near literally caused the destruction of our universe last week as well. And once again, Rick was right, as always. But nonetheless, guys, I'm here for it. I'm excited for it. So I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below if you guys are the next man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. For reaction, it'll be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Oh, yeah, distress beacon. Oh, uh, yeah, baby. Hey. You're excited about that? The first rule of space travel, kids, is always check out distress beacons. Nine out of ten times, it's a ship full of dead aliens and a bunch of free shit. <laughs> Let me find out we better run into Hondo out here. Oh, my God. It's fucking Vilgax's ship. If you got both those references, I fuck with you. Our planet was taken over by some kind of entity. It absorbed the minds of our people. We didn't notice mm. until it was too late. The people it takes over, they, they look like your friends, your family, your leaders, but they're not themselves anymore. Mm. They're part of it. Then how do you know it didn't get on the ship with you? Those two ding-dongs seem pretty calm about the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they throw up in their mouths, bro. It's face like a shit. Hello, Rick. Long time no see. Unity? Grandpa? Oh, Unity? Uh, these are my grandkids, Summer and Morty. Summer, Morty, this is uh, Unity. We sort of used to... Uh, huh? Wait. What in the fuck? I spent some time wandering through space. Then I found this world where I was better able to focus on my passion for unification. <laughs> you mean stealing people's bodies? Summer, rude. Why don't you two kids go run off and play with Unity while Unity and I do some catching up? Oh, <laughs> Rick, aren't these people gonna barf into our mouths and absorb us? You're guests here on my planet. You're free to be yourselves. I've never been any good at disappointing Rick. Well, now huh? I'm going to barf. <laughs> Damn, dude. I, I like that we always have more people on these adventures now, right? It's not just Rick and Morty, but I do miss it being just Rick and Morty. Your dad gets to walk all over us because of your abandonment issues. Mm. He's playing you, shorty. Oh, stop affecting that stupid hip-hop dialect. <laughs> stop shifting the crosshairs to my ironic urban patois just because your relationship <laughs> with your father is toe-up from the flow-up. Bro. Oh, oh shit. What Unity? What was that? I don't know. Let's just leave. Bro, that's Unity. That is that's hatch. what it sounded like Your anyway. Your father put a hatch in my garage. You don't know it was him. <laughs> anyway, we're not supposed to be in here. Obviously, neither is whatever's gurgling down there. What the fuck? That sounded like Unity a little bit. Dude. When the fuck did Jerry start talking like that? Let me find out. He started listening to rap. Hey, listen, where can we get a drink around here? Recreational substances were phased out here. There's no need for escape from the self when your world is one. Unity, Unity, mm. who am I talking to? I watched you assimilate a whole police station just to get your hands on the evidence locker. Rick, when we met, I was a young hive mind with the population of a small town. What? People change. Oh, hold it. Not That's so like weird. This. We need a hang glider. In a crotchless Uncle Sam costume. And I want the entire field of your largest stadium covered end to end with naked redheads. And I want the stands packed with every man that remotely resembles my father. Oh, what? Bro, Rick, you have some issues, clearly, for one. And for two, has a thing for redheads. Oh, yeah! I want you! He really got the costume. Is it a bad time? Mm -hmm. Are all present life forms assimilated? Beta 7, mm -hmm. this is my single-minded friend from Earth, Rick. Single-minded. Sanchez. Unity <coughs> has spoken of you. All bad, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Beta 7, if my allies are a problem for you, perhaps our alliance is as well. Our alliance Ooh. is beneficial. When Beta 7 expresses concern, it, it's only because... Oh, snap! Powdered neutronium Beta 7's in into him. You know what I can make with this stuff? Oh, Rick, I, I shouldn't. Come on, it's not every day that I'm in town. It's, it's, for, it's for old time's sake. <laughs> Dude, Beta 7's about to be pissed. <laughs> what in the fuck? Well, nice. Real nice. Alien prisoners under the house. Real nice. The background looks like a regular, like the alien from the Alien series, kind of, huh? 
Summer, before I took over this planet, this man was a registered sex offender. Oh. Yeah? Well, so what? At least he was himself. This woman was a drug addict on the verge of suicide. Now Damn. she's a marine biologist. Listen, Unity, I don't think my sister's trying to say that life would be perfect without you. I think she's just saying that life would be, you know, life. I have yeah. transformed life here into a paradise. I'm feeling... Oh, oh because they're doing drugs, huh? Oh, man. Let me help all of you guys up. I'm fine. Yeah, because they're doing drugs. You see that town across the river? Watch this. Whoa! Uh, oh, whoa! Whoa! That's not what I meant! <laughs> what okay. the fuck? It's okay. I evacuated. I evacuated the town. Look. Hey! Right here! Damn. Fine. Dude, she's crazy. She's the crazy ex. Get, you gotta go, Rick. You gotta fucking go. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my god. That close. Unity, what's happening? <clears throat> Who's Unity? You kids have nice feet. Mind if I take a picture? Oh, no! No! He's himself again! I'm a landscaper, and I'll be damned if that ripple nipple bitch's race is superior! The ripple nipple, nipple bitch? The will rule this world! Shut <laughs> your mouth, you dirty knife nipple bastards! What'd you say to me, you target chest piece of shit? <laughs> target chest? Maybe they do need Unity. <laughs> Can't you see you're all the same? Oh, Summer. <laughs> First race war, huh? <laughs> Morty said I've been a part of this a few times. What race are you guys? We're neither. See? <laughs> yeah, take my word for it. We just have regular nipples. Right? <laughs> These two freaks have no race. Damn. Where's Unity when you need her? It's okay. You're safe now. Unity? Yes. Oh, no. Unity, I am so sorry. I didn't know freedom meant people doing stuff that sucks. I was thinking more of a choose your own cell phone carrier thing. Ah, oh, Summer, you did nothing wrong. I'm having fun with your grandpa. Lost a little control. Damn, so this is Unity. I thought it was Beta 7. I cannot wait to hear Rick explain his way around this. He is gone. Jerry, Do not stop, set please. that thing okay, free. We weren't even supposed to be down here. If we confront him about oh this. Oh my god, I love this. I love that this is how far you will go for him. You want to go <laughs> upstairs and cut carrots and watch a Lifetime original above a alien dungeon your relationship with your father is psychotic oh, listen to you relish the idea that my genius father is a bad person he's, he's going to eat it he's protecting it ah, shut, shut up, up. <laughs> we need a translator i would not set that thing free rick i'm gonna tell she Mom doesn't want about rick to leave locked up under the garage oh shit the what the hell is your problem grandpa why is he dressed like that <laughs> fine sheesh See ya. Uh, Rick, Damn. I think we should all go. Tend your garden, kids. I'm kind of doing a thing here. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Rick, we're not leaving without you. You know, you're, you're, you're really up to no good around here at, at this place, you know? You and Unity are like, like leggings and mid-calf boots. You think you're great together, but you're just bringing out the worst in each other. <laughs> Gee, boy, Summer, well put. A human. It runs mm -hmm. in the family. I can tolerate it, but I can't give a crap about it. Take Ooh. a hike. Take care of yourself, Unity. Yeah, Unity was doing good until he came back, right? Now look at her. You oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> I said, I don't even want you. I just want to be free. Oh, my um, God. First of all, hello. Translator? Uh, my name is Blim Blam the Core Block. Second of all, cards on the table. I'm a murderer that eats babies, and I came to this planet to eat babies. However, I am also carrying a highly infectious disease that I suppose you could call Space AIDS, as you put it. And Rick did chain me up so that he could attempt to cure it. At the same time, uh -huh. Rick's motivation to cure my disease was not to save my life or anyone else's, but to patent and sell the cure for billions of Blemflar. <laughs> you know what? I'm taking this. Yeah, <laughs> in case I got to talk to anybody else. I mean, we know they've had problems in their relationship, but I mean, after the first episode of this season, it seemed like it got a little bit better, right? With after what he did um, for her saving the deer. How do you... What is this? <laughs> uh, is there a slow setting? Best door ever. <laughs> Dude wasn't going to be able to get out. He flipped him off, too. What in the world? Now make them all do it on the table. Can't believe you created a whole show for me. Now cancel it. Damn. Okay, now put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm bored. He's just using her. 
Don't waste your brain on those weirdos, Unity. They're no different from any of the aimless chumps that you occupy. They just put mm. you at the center of their lives because you're powerful, and then because they put you there, they want you to be less powerful. Never gonna happen, mm. though, right? Never. Never. Like Rick and her, right? Rick, forgive me for doing this in notes. I'm not strong enough to do it in persons. Persons? I realize <laughs> now that I'm attracted to you for the same reason I can't be with you. You can't change. And I have no problem with that, but it clearly means I have a problem with myself. Them toxic relationships. And I know I sound like mom, but I can't sacrifice this whole family's safety just because I'm afraid you'll leave again. So, no more alien prisoners, and no more subterranean excavation without consulting us. Okay. Okay? Y okay, like you're gonna quietly teleport somewhere and never come back? No, it's your house. He's hurt, man. <sighs> what the fuck is this, bro? Oh my god! Oh my god! Bro, he was about to kill himself. Dude, this is dark as a fuck. Holy shit. Dude, he was that close to killing himself. I mean, I know last season we talked about him being sad and depressed, right? With his saying, his catchphrase, but fuck, dude. I mean, I guess, again, you know, with Unity, he, he really did. He probably really was in love with her in a way, a weird way, right? <clears throat> damn dude i mean we need more backstory too on what happened between uh him and his wife right beth's mom unity i know you can hear me get out here weapon systems engaged oh in your dreams you have weapon systems rick you said we were going to a movie we are morty <laughs> all right beta shit seven you just got saved by the bell bitch damn dude maybe rick is the crazy ex holy shit what in the fuck Season 2, episode 3 <coughs> of Rick and Morty is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. What an episode, man. I mean, dude, like, that is some depressing, sad shit to see for Rick. You know what I mean? Like, they talked about it last season, but like, holy hell, man. He literally was about to kill himself. Like, I need more backstory on what happened between him and Beth's mom how we ended up here i mean i know they talk about him abandoning at least she does same with jerry right saying beth has abandonment issues and you know her dad leaving and that's why she was scared to say that stuff and she's like are you just gonna walk away you know go into another dimension with the portal gun or whatever he's like nah so i wonder what happened before man but damn dude it's sad like it's a funny ass show and i love it but man there's some dark 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 overtones to it regardless fantastic episode man fucking unity a hive mind all the weird shit he had her do it's like he was just using her and it's like that toxic relationship right it's like she was doing good she was chilling right and then rick comes back and he sucks her back into what she used to be you know the the drugs the alcohol the doing nothing all day type thing and i mean that's real life right like sometimes like it hurts to leave a relationship but <clears throat> like staying in it is kind of worse at times right because you kind of bring out the worst in each other or at least one person brings out the worst in the other and we see that with rick and her man and it's like it might hurt to leave but it, it'll do more damage to stay in the long run regardless though fantastic fucking episode absolutely loved it season two is it's off to a great start man let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for reaction. It'll be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. You guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, guys? I hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Alexander Collins, and the homie Christopher Larimer. Your guys' support is much appreciated. If you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance full length reactions and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel but i hope you guys all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one